Hi, my name is Florence Le Baron Earl. I'm a university teacher here at the University of Limerick. And you can see the beautiful campus here near the School of Modern Languages and Applied Linguistics. The project is called Erasmus Speaks. It's a transnational virtual exchange between the University of Limerick and five European uh, partner universities based in France, Germany, Austria and uh, Spain. So the project ran for six weeks in the autumn 2020 and participants were all students of languages. I took part in virtual exchange. Uh, it was a mandatory part of my module, uh, but I really enjoyed it. Um, I made actually two friends because I took part in it twice. Um, so yeah, we're still in touch. I think the good thing about this experience was that um, because we lost on the Erasmus experience of going abroad and meeting new cultures, I thought it was great because we were still able to talk with a native speaker. I was able to make friends with her and it was also good because we were on the same level. So she had the same level of um, English as I had Spanish. I had a really great experience on the virtual um, exchange program where I worked with three students from EM Strasbourg Business School and we had three tasks to do based on uh, our cultures and companies that we found both in Strasbourg and in Ireland. So the first task was to create a multimodal presentation about their partners' uh, campuses and cultures. The second task was to write an article or a blog about a film or a TV series they were watching and they could decide uh, what they were interested in. And the third task was to create a podcast or a radio interview on a cultural artifact. We had to, to create a PowerPoint of our um, partner's um, university. So I was partnered with a girl called Lucia and she was from the Universidad de Oviedo. So I um, learned a few things about her university and then I told her a few things about our university and then we created the PowerPoint. The second task, we got to talk about a movie, um, a movie we'd all seen and even though we were all from different places, we could all find the humorous aspects and the, the scary aspects of the movie. It was really something we could all engage with. Um, we also recorded a pod podcast. Um, the podcast was about music. So that's the topic that we chose. So we really wanted that the students improve their language proficiency, their target language proficiency, so that could be in German or French, Spanish or English for the partner students. We also wanted students to have a rich intercultural experience with native speakers who are their peers, that is students their own age. A change from being in classroom with a student and teacher all the time. And also we wanted to give them an opportunity to develop transferable skills, in particular collaborative competencies and digital literacy. So the project was led by uh, UN lecturers from the School of Modern Languages and Applied Linguistics. So there was great collegiality between us. Um, and so we all had experience in virtual exchange and some of us very successful. So we decided to work together to create this project. So because of COVID-19 emergency travel restrictions, the Erasmus Plus Mobility Program was just scrapped, cancelled. And this is a key component of our language students' uh, experience. So with colleagues, we were together in the summer 2020 and we decided to do something. We really wanted our students to experience a rich linguistic, intercultural and also social experience with peers, again, um, with students their own age. So we divide this in an emergency situation over the summer. And even if Erasmus mobility was canceled, we wanted them to have this experience of meeting other cultures, other um, peers. Overall, I really enjoyed it. I think that's a great opportunity to get a chance to talk to a person because normally we're just learning grammar and having like small conversations with, with other students who are not native speakers. But this virtual exchange is a really good opportunity to, to talk to native speaker and in this way just kind of maybe break your barrier and yeah, just, just talk in other language. 
It was really cool, unfortunately we couldn't go to our Erasmus colleges in person, but to be able to be fortunate enough to be able to have this virtual program meant we were able to engage with French students or wherever they were from to, to execute something that was really, really cool. We also um, wanted to make sure that virtual exchange are maintained in the future, so we wanted a really successful experience because it's been proven that it can really help students even if they go on mobility after when Erasmus uh, resumes, as it is the case now. It's a great way to prepare them. So the overall results of the project are very positive. We could see a really strong engagement from students and the main goals of developing their linguistic skills, their intercultural competencies and digital literacy have been achieved. Also, we've been able to create uh, tutorial videos to help our students how to create multimodal, technology-based, internet-based um, projects. And last but not least, the most uh, visible impact that we can see with this project is that all our students who successfully uh, completed the task received an Erasmus Plus digital badge. So this is a recognition from the European Commission that uh, describes the skills they've developed during the project and they can put it on their CVs, they can also uh, showcase them on their digi digital profile like social media, so it will boost their employability and it's also on a personal level an achievement in itself. I would say if you are a language teacher or practitioner and you're enthusiastic about multilingualism, Go for it. I mean, if you look at the website, there's a wide array of projects that are catered from this level. And um, it's a great way to share with the wider community what you're doing. Um, and also on a personal level, it's always uh, fantastic to have an external recognition of your work. Uh, la experiencia era uh, muy divertida y interesante. Nehmen Sie am virtual exchange teil. Mach Spaß. Uh, C'était une expérience inoubliable.